All right. Good morning, y'all. So this is going to be a comprehensive review of the uh, the Peoria archive and what it's done, what it does right, and some things it needs to work on. So, uh, yeah, I decided to do it vlog style because um, I really don't have time to do it any other way. I uh, thought maybe as you come along with me during my day, you can see the progression of the archive as well as the progression of my day. So, without further ado, let's get to the review. Okay, so this review is going to be done in uh, three parts. Um, so this is going to be part one, uh, run intro. All right, welcome back. So, to know if something is ethical or not, we must know what the word ethical actually means. So, I am going to let my past self tell you what ethical means. Go past me. Moral principles, quality, or practice. A system of moral principles as social ethics. Moral principles, or quality, or uh, a practice, a system of moral beliefs. Again, welcome back. Twice, uh, I guess. Um, so, is the Peoria Archive ethical? Yes. And here's why. Okay, so how do we know that the Peoria Archive is ethical? Well, when it comes to things like this, we must figure out if it's accurate. That's what essentially what ethical means in this context. Is it accurate? And the answer, the short answer, is yes, it is. But there's some problems. Well, not really problems, but um, there, are, there, there are some things that need to be worked out. If you go to the About Author section, you'll see under there that um, information was given by witness testimonies. And I'm not saying that the people would intentionally lie about if they knew Richard Pryor, if they knew anything, but um, the 50s were a long time ago. And the people that had to be living in Peoria have to be at least 80 years old by now. So, you're asking people who are 80 plus years old to talk about a subject that's at least 60 years ago. That's a long time, you know. Things, information can get muddy because, again, people live their whole lives. And then they're asked a question from 60 years ago. So, is it accurate? Yes. But it's subject to flaw because human memory isn't that isn't accurate over long stretches of time. But, and this is a big but, what the archive does right, or ethically, or more accurately, is it shows you the review of Peoria, Illinois, the town that Briar grew up in. See, it's, the stories are woven together. All right, welcome back. I just got out of my first class. Now, what was I saying? Right. Woven throughout the Peoria archive is the, uh, the story of Peoria, Illinois itself. The town that Richard Pryor grew up in. And it doesn't sugarcoat anything. Uh, Peoria, Illinois was a tough place to grow up. It was a really tough town. Um, articles, pictures from newspapers, some of the things like that report on it. And it's a very honest, bleak, but honest picture of what living in Peoria, Illinois must have been like back then before things were, most of the town was demolished and then refurbished to be better. So ethical, yes. Subject to flaw because again, Memory is a tough thing to measure, and 50 plus years ago, it's gonna hard. To, it's gonna be hard to remember something. So ethical, yes, but flawed. Okay, just got out of my other classes. Now ready, ready to move on to part two. 
Does the archive favor certain viewpoints or beliefs, or does it favor a certain side? The answer is yes. And no. Thank you. So yes and no. I'll show you what I mean. Sorry. So yeah, the Peoria Archive is a biographical piece about Richard Pryor, so it is going to favor his point of view and the people around him. However, what the Peoria Archive does as well is tell you the story of the town of Peoria, Illinois. It shows you from its prohibition days, the civil rights movement, to when it was a lot of it was officially like demolished and redone. So what this does, it creates a context, a evidence for Breyer's uh, upbringing, for his style. This, it, it gives a history of the forces that made Richard Pryor who he was and how he grew up and where he grew up. So it provides context overall. All right, and we're back. It's a lot later, but I've uh, been doing some things. We are now in our final part of our journey, part three. Now, does this archive create an accurate snapshot of a past time, place, or person? And the answer is yes. Again, just like the other parts, yes, but there's, it's, there's more than a one word answer. See, in the archive, that's its job, is to create a snapshot of a time long ago. I mean, Richard Pryor grew up in the 50s. Again, that was 60 years ago, a long time ago. So what this does is, in the archive, it, it records the first 20 years of Pryor's life, right? That's what it does. It focuses on what made him who he was, how he did what he did, all these things. However, a small critique of this part of the archive is that there's really not a section about his comedy or um, his later years where he was more successful. There's not really a time where the archive focuses on the good years of his life when he was making tons of money and making everybody laugh around him instead of just a few drunks in a bar somewhere. I think that would have made a better picture. Instead of focusing on the bad things, you could have focused it at least have one section focusing on the good years. That way you could show the audience that it doesn't matter where you come from, it doesn't matter who raised you, how you were raised. As long as you have the drive and the ethic, the work ethic to get things done, you can do anything you want. Hey guys, so when filming the last part of the review, my batteries died in the camera, so I wasn't able to give the full, uh, send off I guess you could say so I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish it right here even though it's a little bit later in the day so um, overall the archive is very well done and very well put together it does show a great uh, overarching picture of the town of Illinois Richard Pryor's origins in that town it just it it needs to bring in a little bit of the future into it so we can get a full picture of Richard Pryor's life, not just his hard years. So, yeah, it's been fun. Uh, I hope I'll see you guys in class sometime. Deuces.